keeping a lot of this, but a few of these things I am going to sell. I cleared everything out and the things I'm going to sell are now on the shelves, ready for me to list them. And these are a few things that I really like and want to keep. Again, that picture is still here, my friends. Do that for my husband who's a pretty well-known artist. So let's see what else I'm thinking to keep. There's some cool bells and some pixies and I just love the beaded people. This is kind of cool, someone took a cigarette case and painted on it. I have a whole bunch of them from the same lot and there's ones that aren't painted on, but I like the, actually the one that was painted on. Those gems are from my kids were little, they made those back there. Don't you love the packaging of the doilies? This little guy was made out of buttons when I went to Adamstown. A man had it in his booth, he made it himself and I wanted to support him and I really like it. He used vintage buttons. He's a really nice guy. I actually have his card, so I'll let you know. This little gem was in my antique mall while I have it, where I have a showcase and I love it. And that skunk back there, I tried to sell and no one wanted him and it turns out he glows. So all that paint on him glows and then it became obsessed with it because my husband even liked it. So we have a little skunk collection now because no one bought that little skunk bank, vintage skunk bank. Your loss is my gain. Let's go down to this shelf. A little lovebirds. It's from our honeymoon in St. Lucia, 27 years ago almost. And I love the little crickets. So you know I probably bought a bunch from you. You're watching. It's another little St. Lucia guy. My kid's hands. <laughs> Don't you love these globes? I think this is an oil one, but the rest of these are like signed artist pieces. Yeah, pretty cool. Let's go over to the other side. Little squeakers, and I cannot squeak them now because you know who will come running and barking, thinking it's her toy. Little cupies, little celluloid dolls. He just came in a set, but he's going to be sold. The hummingbird. A nice friend on here who makes all those. I'm sure you all buy from her too. She made a lot of those things. Those are for sale in the back. She plays music. I have a thing for angel carolers. I have to put her away with the rest of my Christmas stuff. She's up for sale. And you guys saw when I got this bottle. I should have bought more. She had three of them. He just came in a set, so he'll be for sale. And let's see what we got going on in here. So I have many collections. And one is I love the porcelain animals with the fur on them. A lot of times their whiskers are gone. There's a painted on. She has a few hanging on. She lost hers, but I love them. Mustard and ketchup. Almost dainty. How cute are they? Got the mustard and the ketchup. Did you see these? They have the little scoopers. They're both there. I mean, I'll sell these eventually, but for right now, this is my favorite stuff. Little Red Riding Hood. You all love the cat. A fryer. A bluebird. These are all one set. How cute is this? Six piece egg set. The salt and pepper. My little bird. Dinner is served. She's a planter back there. We had that made for my daughter when we went away years ago. None of this stuff is in um, 
in order like of how I'm gonna keep it. I just went through everything and these are just the things I'm gonna keep. So I have to dust and put shelves in here and some of this stuff is for sale. You guys saw that powder puff. That's Moser glass in Fenton molds. There's a painted dinosaur from that. You know, I'm obsessed with Victorian. Again, Moser glass, painted molds. Some Fenton, they're two separate pieces. Bird. I just love that salt and pepper. And this I bought for me to keep. You know, the Mara mugs. Owl. When I went to Adams Town. You know, I paid up for that. I paid $18. And this I'll probably sell. I know it can get a pretty penny for this now. That's pretty. I love this little set. What else are you keeping, Carrie? It's a little Tiffany bowl. I got the bigger bowl for my wedding from a friend of ours. And so I found that, so I'm keeping that. These are all really good. Oh, someone's playing us music. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's worth quite a bit of money. I just love red and white. Is this Johnson Brothers? No, Mason's. But I have a lot of the Johnson Brothers, the strawberry. This is Fenton. These were my grandmother's candles that everyone likes. Yes, you guys, I'm putting all the clothes. We're sorting all the clothes. You guys know I sell clothes and designer clothes, and I still do that. I love that. Eagles. What do you call this? It's like pink milk glass. So I have to put some candles in there. Now I was going to sell these and you, everyone said, can we keep them, keep them? So I'm undecided. This is a Givenchy uh, teapot. They're mugs. They're not, they don't go together. There's an Italian platter. So we're just going to, I'm going to sell that. And that's the other one you said to keep, but I'm probably going to sell. Opalescent hobnail. Fenton candlestick holders. There's the other one. Bavaria. The pink is Hull. I think this is Bavaria too, is it? No, Austria. Is this Bavaria? Yeah. This is beautiful. I actually brought this from the crazy lamp lady. It's Czech. I just loved it because it looks like um, the Greek key or Givenchy. This is Fenton, believe it or not. Or Hull. I mean Hull. It's painted. Look at the bird. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's like raised relief. Oh my God, I'm just in love with this piece. I actually had to fight for this piece and I probably paid a little more for it than I normally would have. So I probably paid like 50 bucks for that. And then uh, you have to be either a lover or not. This is from Capo de Monte. And I love Capo de Monte. No, my mom cannot stand Capo de Monte, but I love it. Look at this, it's beautiful. Sugar and creamer in the teapot. I saw it in the antique store where I have, the mall where I have a showcase. And I told my husband, that would make a great Mother's Day gift. And he never listens to me. And he went back and he got it. And he had a hard time finding it because they cleaned their booth out. So there it is, it means the world to me. Love it. As you know, I have a lot of pieces. What do we have on this little table? Some little Fiore glass, Murano glass. Look at this. Isn't she beautiful? I love pink, if you didn't notice. Little table sweeper. Isn't she darling? This is Hall drip glaze. I just like the color. I have a whole bunch of this stuff in. Um, In brown. Look at this beautiful basket. Oh, this Fenton basket. It's worth a pretty penny. And I have a lot of the frozen Charlottes and Charlies in there. And then we have some more Fenton. I love this this color. Little rosary ball. And some more frozen Charlottes and a little celluloid doll. And then Nice Victorian phone I'm going to put in my walk-in closet. Here's my husband and I back in the day. Oh, don't we love it? You know I love it. More Capo de Monte. 
I actually have two of these. These are being, being sold. Papo de Monte lamps. I don't know if they have to sell them locally because they're very expensive to ship. But they are gorgeous. So I'm going to sell the pair for around $450. And I have to straighten out the shades. I, I'm not going to ship it with the shades. But it comes with the, the things on top. I'll show you the other one. You know, I found this in the thrift store. Had a little accident, so I have to fix them before I sell them. Hello, Frozen Charlotte and Charlie. How you doing there today, my Murano bowl? That bowl will probably be sold. You know, I'm obsessed with Asian themes. Look how cute she is. And this little bowl I found, this plastic bowl. And all these figures here are going to be sold. I just left them out because I didn't have room anymore on my shelves. The clock in the back is going to be sold. These little dolls and the planters I'm keeping for now. It's a set of the planters. The boy and girl in the back's being sold. I haven't decided on the jewel cat. And they're being sold. This is ours. This is a dog we had, a King Charles Spaniel, reminded us of her. So we're keeping her. And there we go, we had a chihuahua. What else? So much artwork to be sold. I have a lot of piano music to sell, if anyone's interested. These are the two I'm just keeping on my piano for now. Hello, birdies. I actually have the um, set, the oval bowl that goes with that. I love that Limoges set I'm keeping, but there's this cool toy up there I'm gonna sell. All the Hummels are going, except for one. And there's a bunch of different ashtrays in there that I'm keeping. Now I just shoved everything in here. Some painted eggs I'm keeping, some I'm selling. These Hummels are from when I was a kid. So when my mom moved, she gave me them. And you know, there's that salt cellar that I was dying for. I know everyone always wants this army car. And I saw fire trucks from, I think, 1969. That little taxi car. Look at this fairy lamp. She works and she's beautiful. She's going to be for sale. And that's a flower in her hair, not a neck. She's really beautiful lit up. And I have this really cool old lighter. Let me see if I can open it. Okay. Lady Light by Ronson. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, I love it. You know, I have a problem. I have too many collections and too many things. A lot of stuff going up for sale, too. From my mother-in-law's house. There's a lot of things we'll be putting up. But as soon as I cleaned out, now I came home with more. Here's the other lamp. If anyone's interested, the pair of them will be $450 plus shipping. Our local pickup in Long Island, New York. And these will be for sale. This is hurricane lamp or fairy lamp. Some crystal. These bookends will be for sale. There's elephants. And this one just has like somebody resting. keeping some of these probably these two on the right and her in the middle she's probably gonna be for sale and she's probably gonna be for sale how cute is she keeping her she it's a double-sided doll a chatty kathy um, yeah, they'll probably be for sale. I'll probably put them in my booth. Ton of jewelry that's going to be for sale. Ton. I mean a ton. I'm talking, I have thousands and thousands of pieces of jewelry. And so I'm going to be selling on whatnot. And I think I'm going to start with jewelry and ephemera on whatnot. 
Lots of ephemera. What figure carry? More Asian dolls. You guys saw these. Yeah, all those bracelets, everything's gonna be for sale. I'm just testing to see what's Bakelite and what's not. Just got my ring holder that I just bought from the lovely Joy. She made it, I'm keeping that. Just, I mean, like, I mean, a shit ton, a shit ton of Joy. My new acquisition, I love her. Amy made that, love it. She's amazing, you gotta go check her channel out. Uh, the two polo bears will be for sale. There was a whole bunch of purses back there. Vintage, not vintage, Coach, Kate Spade, Gucci, Loewe. Yeah. Got some pieces here. Holding all my jewelry. I know it's beautiful. I have to be careful with that one. And you guys, seriously, it goes on and on. Ephemera. Ephemera. I got some puzzles for sale. This is my pile. Some purses. That's a Prada purse. Some shoes, a whole box is new designer shoes. The ones on top aren't designer, they're lanes and clogs. Little kids piggy bank and it holds things. I mean, just like jewelry. Jewelry, 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 jewelry. And there's like three piles. And you know I love my vintage um, photo albums. These are the clothes we're working on right now. Some bags and hats and a lot of stuff. I have a little Hawaiian theme going. That dog is a lighter. My sister-in-law made that. She painted that. She was very into botanicals. Very cute. Some more Fenton. That was handmade too. And that I mean, my dog is a Victorian card holder and that's just a little picture. Some more beaded angels from my mother-in-law's house. That's a Fenton Bell and it came broken, so I had to put it back together. You wouldn't know if I didn't show you. Well, maybe. Look, some more little fuzzy animals. Three squirrels in a pod. <laughs> it's from Italy. Just a lot of, a lot of stuff. Stuff everywhere. Baby shark, do 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 do. Let's go up here. Disney pins, a little Porsche. Despicable Me, Funko Pops, Brito Pop. So I don't want to enter Disney pins. I have a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch. There's a jewelry box down there. Ephemera. This big box is all jewelry, like glass beads. I'm selling sets of glass beads. They're not strong. You can make your own. If anyone is interested in glass beads, I have beautiful glass beads, thousands of them. It's all ephemera in these. Yep. And then I have boxes back there. I have an old CD player. I even have the old 8-track tape player. Games and puzzles and more ephemera. That's all jewelry. Oh, here's the other cigarette boxes I was talking about. If you know me, you know, on my posh, you know I sell a lot of clothes. A lot of clothes. More books. This is what we're working on right now. Um, these clothes we're listing. I think this one's listed, but these jackets are unbelievable. These suede jackets with the beads, if anyone's interested. And Burberry bags, designer stuff right here. And this is just regular bags. We're working on a lot of workout stuff we're working on. My son's helping me. And I think that's about it. These are going outside too. These are Syracuse. Um, and then plain restaurant wear. And then these, I'm not sure if I'm keeping for myself because I really like them. I just have to find the matching bowls. And I have a ton of Port Marion, if anyone's looking. A ton of it that I have to put up for sale. A ton, I mean a ton, you guys. Beautiful. I was thinking about keeping it, but I'm like, no, nope, enough, Carrie. If there's anything you see that you want, let me know right below. I just got up. I'm going to jump in the shower. I was just going for a walk. And see you soon. Remember to be you. Till next time.